Ten Kavod started in 2012 with the goal of preventing the deterioration of the medical and emotional state of elderly people. The project is meant to prevent getting to the elderly before it is too late. All volunteers must take a 44 hours training course so they can be able to give the proper medical response to any situation the elderly may be required. There are 700 volunteers in over 33 cities across the country from north to south. That means that over 700 elderly people across the country are receiving help for free once a week. I'm going to be 97 soon. You're going to be 97 in November? In November. And we're going to have a chocolate cake. Okay. What should it say on the chocolate cake? I love you. I do love you. I love you, Lucille. The volunteers help by taking blood pressure, checking vitals, and in many different ways to help improve the medical situation of the elderly. I started this program eight months ago, and I've been visiting Jenny once a week for the past eight months. I'm helping Jenny medically by measuring her blood pressure or helping her with different medications, being able to calm her down when she is a little bit stressed or having her to do it for me. And I've been helping Jenny around the house in many different ways, for example, changing her air conditioner or helping her with computer things. I was very sick and then when you finish the work, we will uh, go to Israel. My family was not survive anybody. From the family, I, my mother, I survived. And my father was not with us together in the ghetto, he was away in the partisans. So only me, my mother survived. So I began to draw many things from the, my head. Little by little, I begin to make a little bit light, nice colors, bright colors. So, and I begin, this, this is was for my survivor. Believe me, I'm a fighter. I didn't want to show my children that I cry, that I suffer. I want to give them a life that they, they don't, they should not remember that I'm a survivor from Holocaust. Thank God, it is a very important place because we are not very healthy, we are old. So when they come, they make a stealing like that on my children. They look at me, they send me somebody to look my blood pressure, how I live, how is my, my sugar, how is my life. And from this time, I have a nice guy who comes to me always, every week, to give me help. If he comes, I'm very happy, and I wait in this day to wait to see him. And this is a very nice idea, and I ask your people, if you hear my voice, if you hear my, my question, if you hear my story, please be nice and help us, because we depend on very much from your heart, from your understanding. My friendship with Jenny, which is like a grandmother to me, is very important. I'm helping Jenny with emotional level by communicating with her, helping her. We are thankful up to, to God that you can help us. For me, Daniel is my grandchild. He gives me a very good time. He gives me to have a good mood, play with me. He thinks of me very good things, and I'm grateful for him too. Thank you for coming. Oh, I love coming to visit you. Thank you.